you're helping me f- with the focus, Natalie. Helping me with focus. Thank you. Yeah, you want to be in the video? Okay, so it's a full house, I guess. You guys are taking the spotlight. So I'm gonna try to give you guys this video while my dogs asking for are, are asking for attention. So I've been in a creative rut lately. I feel like I've been here before, but I'm not I'm not sure it's hitting me or it has hit me as it's hitting me now. It's a weird feeling because I'm normally a very like creative person and I have a lot of ideas and I still have a lot of ideas that I want to execute, but I just don't seem to have the energy or the uh, creative feel to go out and make them happen. You see, the last couple months I've been really passionate about creating and I've been following a lot of other creators uh, as well as my friends who are getting into the creative field and I've seen them accomplish all of these things and I know comparing myself to others is not necessarily a good thing because we all have different ways of growing and different uh, paces of growing uh, throughout our life and I just feel that I myself have plateaued uh, in a sense um, or I've hit this barrier. I was talking to my wife yesterday. I made this analogy of me being a crack, <laughs> not me being a crack, of a crack and I myself am the marble. And you know, if you played marbles before, you try to get them to the other side, but I keep getting stuck in this crack and not being able to move forward. And that's what I've been feeling like mentally and creatively. I wanted to make this video because you guys or wh whoever's watching might be going through a creative rut as well. Even if you might know me personally and you're watching this video, you might not see this side of me. The creative blog that I go to, it seems familiar in a sense to when I was um, transitioning from high school to college where I really wasn't motivated to do video. At the time I was doing a lot of like wedding work and not a lot of freelancing, but just weddings in general. And it got to the point where I even like sold my computer. Um, I didn't touch the camera at all. Uh, if anything creative, I was just helping my dad with his events. Um, and I feel like I'm in the similar state now because what's going on in my life right now is I'm doing a lot of jobs and I have a full-time job and although I love them and I love the people that I work with and, my, and, and the clients that we work with and the types of videos that we get to do I feel like I'm stuck in the sense of I'm creating for others uh, but I'm not creating for myself I'm not making something for myself and I also feel like it's good to be in creative ruts in a way it's a, it's a good thing that I'm here, but it's kind of tricky for me, or, or at least the way I'm, that I'm feeling, uh, where Ryan, one of my favorite creators said, is that sometimes you need to hit the brakes. Life needs to stop you in a sense, so you can stop and appreciate and, and think and redirect yourself accordingly to where you're supposed to be going. And my wife said something along those lines as well to me yesterday where you know maybe this is the time to sit and analyze exactly where I'm going and and plan and, and redirect myself and reevaluate if that's the direction that I really want to go or if I need to pivot and go somewhere else not physically but creatively I still want to make videos obviously but what kind of videos do I really want to make it's kind of hard to push forward past the metaphoric crack that I painted for you guys. I do have a lot of ideas so I feel like at the same time I'm wasting my my time and my energy um, doing other things. Sometimes I feel guilty for having free time and wasting it on like playing video games or uh, watching anime. At the same time I realize and it's, the idea sinks to me that you know maybe life it's stopping me on my tracks and it's allowing me to have this free time to uh, explore and relax and it's okay to not have anything to worry about uh, instead of like living in chaos. Maybe like a month or next year from now, I won't have this free time uh, and I'll be really busy doing things that I really want to really do and really want to accomplish. So it's, it's hard to know when it's a good time to sit down and reevaluate and just go with the flow. But at the same time, it's like, am I 
going with the flow and I'm just waiting for something to happen? Uh, or do I go out and, and make it happen? Is this the right time to do it? <sighs> but yeah, life's confusing right now. And it's natural to go through these creative r ruts. Um, I'm not saying that it's not, but I feel like I have to make this video in a sense for myself, because like I said, I feel like I'm creating for others um, like 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm not ever creating for myself. Um, and also like, I'm not really sure what to create for myself too. That's another aspect of it. It's, it's a lot of things that incorporate into where I'm at now. Uh, and it's just hard to get out of. So I just wanted to make a video about this and materialize it in a way. Uh, in any case that somebody else is going through the same thing and hopefully together we can ride this wave or somehow move past that crack uh, into other frontiers. If I somehow get out of this, I'll let you guys know and uh, you'll be catching me very soon again. This is my literal life. I can now make this up. I can now make this up. <laughs>